Welcome to Wolverine Coatings Corporation's mixing tutorial. Mixing polymer or resinous materials properly is critical for a successful installation. Wet, unreacted material, soft spots, wrinkling, and delamination are very obvious problems, but they're not the only undesirable results caused by improper mixing techniques. This video guide closely follows Wolverine Coatings Corporation's Technical Information Bulletin Mixing Guide. Please read the guide for more detailed steps on mixing and for equipment checklists. This can be found under the Resources tab on Wolverine's website. We at Wolverine Coatings Corporation want your worries resolved and are confident that this video will serve as a guide to give you a safe and error-free experience. But before you get started, you need to ensure you have all the proper personal protective equipment for the job. Consider this list of PPE a baseline. Local and job site regulations may require additional items. A proper mixing area is critical for error-free mixing. Not only will a well-thought-out mixing area yield higher quality mixes, it will also contribute to a cleaner work area and increased productivity. Here is the equipment you will need to set up a proper mixing area. You will need plastic sheeting, corrugated cardboard, a thick tip permanent marker, duct tape, wooden stir sticks or solvent resistant spatulas, measuring containers, mixing containers, transport containers, a heavy duty drill motor or power mixer, extension cords, mixing paddles, lint free rags, solvent, a box of disposable gloves, and a timer. Now that we've gone over the PPE and mixing area equipment checklist, it's time for setup. Choose a location near the work area with enough room for mixing, material staging, and empty containers. Lay down plastic sheeting with edges extending beyond the area required. If desired, tape the plastic sheeting to the surface, but ensure the tape will not harm the surface. Lay down a layer of heavy corrugated cardboard and tape together if in pieces. Tape over any holes or slits if necessary. Then tape the cardboard to the plastic sheeting. To better control drips and spills, cut additional pieces of cardboard to place under dripping mixing paddles, stir sticks, buckets, etc. Once your plastic sheeting and cardboard are laid out and secured, it's time to set out your materials. Stage each component of the material in their own marked area, preferably away from each other, but in easy reach of the mix area. Make useful notes on the cardboard with a permanent marker. Mixing can be very stressful in the heat of battle, so jotting down informative notes can reduce the likelihood of error. Pre-mix all components. Use a dedicated mixing paddle for each component to avoid cross-contamination. Carefully pour the components together per the materials technical data sheet. Carefully mix materials. <laughs> Be sure to scrape the sides of the mixing container with a stir stick midway through the mix. partially mix material into a transfer container. Finish mixing material. Once thoroughly mixed, add additional materials as necessary, such as pigments, aggregates, or fillers.
While most materials are easily mixed, thicker materials such as chemical resistant coatings and resinous putties can be more challenging. This basic mixing procedure should be used to mix most resinous materials, although you should consult the technical data sheets for specific instructions. Again, consult our Technical Information Bulletin Mixing Guide for a more detailed discussion of proper mixing procedures, including expanded steps and equipment lists.